Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Erica. I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. I would love to have you as part of this community. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and come visit with me twice a week. That being said though guys, let's get into the video. All right everybody, I cannot believe it's that time. We're at the end of May. I feel like I just made this video, but no, we're at the end of it already. So you know what that means. It means my May favorites, what items, what things, what shows, what anything did I love in the month of May. I have a pretty good list together, so lest we not waste any more time, let's just get into the list. So the first one, and in no particular order, I think I should start ordering these, but today is not that day. Today won't be the day. Anyway. The first item is this makeup or cleansing balm. It's by the company Good Molecules. So this is it guys, and you get into it, and what I really like is it comes with this really nice little scoop. I've actually never had a product that had that, so I felt very fancy. And it looks sort of kind of like a coconut oil in my opinion. There is really no smell. There isn't. It's kind of like scentless. And I kind of bought this on a whim. I am generally a micellar water user for makeup removal, but I had recently learned that micellar water could actually kind of be almost like, like you have to wash that off too. So I was in the market for something new. I didn't want to spend a fortune and I found this on ultabeauty.com. So this is by the brand again, Good Molecules and it's a, um, it's a buckthorn oil, camellia oil and shea butter. Uh, cleansing balm and it just melts off the makeup. I put a little bit in my hand I kind of just warm it up and then I will put it on my face And it just doesn't feel like it strips my face of its moisture and simultaneously It just kind of gets that makeup away I did find that the micellar water that I was using for whatever reason I just feel like I would wake up and I'd still find the makeup on my face with this it totally cleanses my face and gets everything off of it. I do still use also the La Roche Posay cleanser as well just to kind of get that like double clean. Uh, I just I more or less use this just to get my makeup off. So if you have something else I'm always in the market for like cool products to try. I just really like this one so far. I like that it was seven dollars. I feel like a little gets you a long way and to me it does the job and it just doesn't, it hasn't irritated my skin. It hasn't done anything to my skin in a negative kind of way. I've talked a lot about my skin in that it is very um, sensitive if you will. I have eczema on my chin, on my eyelids, so I really have to be kind of careful with the products that I use and I'm always still trying to find different ones and new ones to try. Try. So this instant cleansing balm though guys right now I am loving I bought it earlier in May and I've used it for the entire month and I like it I'm still using it. So this is definitely something I have really liked especially in terms of melting my makeup off so Product favorite number one for the month of May. Okay, next product guys. And I'm a little, a little depressed about this product and I'll tell you why. So this is a candle by the brand Modern Alchemy. Like look how pretty that is. Now here's why I'm upset about it. There's a couple reasons. Well, first and foremost, I love it. Okay, so we'll just get that out of the way. Obviously, it wouldn't be in a favorites video if I didn't love it. It is the greatest smelling candle I've ever smelled. It is like kind of like a linen smell, met a floral smell, but simultaneously is subtle, so it's not like overwhelming because like I can imagine like thinking about those smells like together would be just disgustingly overwhelming. It is not. It is like subtle and it's fresh. It's like the best word for this candle. It's fresh. Now here's why it's depressing. Okay, so I bought this candle at Home Goods. So if you know, you know that Home Goods is like one of those kind of like TJ Maxx Marshall sort of places. So it's like it's one of a kind items. I feel like now there's probably, hopefully, I haven't even looked yet, a chance that I may find this online. Probably. But will I get it for the $13 price tag I paid for it? Probably not. So I burn this candle sparingly. Like obviously there's still a lot there just because I love it so much. And like that's the funny thing about like candles you love, right? It's like you love them, but when you find them kind of like this in this circumstance, like the last thing you want to do is burn it because you don't want to run out of it. So it is like my most favorite smelling candle ever. So it's like a sacred candle because I just don't want to run out of it, because I just, I love it. 
I love it so much. Like I can't stop smelling it. It smells that good. So yes, I would highly recommend. I think it burns on par with the Bath & Body Works candle. Like it tends to just like really, really, really like be very, um, I want to say smelly. If you know about Bath & Body Works candles, you know that like when you burn them, the entire house just like is taken over by its smell in such a good way. But conversely, I've had candles that I've bought that like for whatever reason, they just didn't have that sort of like powerful smell in the sense that like you just really like they didn't make an impression let's put it that way like they just didn't smell like you could go up to them and put your nose in them and they smelled great but like when you burned them they didn't do anything so in my opinion a candle should do something especially if you're going to spend 12 or 13 dollars on one and this candle for sure did something so it definitely made my house smell really good and i just I really loved it so I'm hoping I can find it if I do I will link it in the description box down below but no promises that I will find it especially for this price but yes the modern alchemy candle and I think this is in the scent secret garden I think so uh, it says it on the bottom so I'm thinking that that's the smell but then you have this variable I don't even know what that word is here so I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll see if I can find it. And if I did, great. I might actually spend like even more on this candle. It says the retail price is $24, which is a lot. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So anyway, in the description box down below, speaking of any of these items that I can find, I will find and put in the description box down below for you guys if you are interested. The next two items guys are shows one i've watched and well okay so the first one i watched it is the el innocente or the innocent on netflix this is a show based out of spain they have an english dubbed version they speak in spanish but you hear it in english so it's definitely something i've had to get used to i'm generally like more like a subtitles girl i'd rather read it because something about the lips just drives me crazy but I've watched a couple shows like this and I'm getting used to it. So I put this on, again, it's like a limited series out of Spain and it was phenomenal. I kind of just took a chance on it and I wasn't really like expecting anything. I didn't really know, I just sort of put it on. Sometimes you just put those shows on that like you anticipate being background and turn out to be so much more than you ever thought. That was this show. This show was full on like twist after twist after twist after twist and it's kind of like like crime drama romance not to mention the main character is chef kiss if you will uh, i really enjoyed this show for sure however you want to watch it i think you can put on the subtitles maybe you speak spanish which uh, that's amazing and you can just watch it regularly from the beginning to the end i was completely surprised and from episode one to episode two specifically I really like how they kind of like came together with separate storylines and then at the very end of like episode two you can sort of see how those two storylines came together. I really like when shows do that. I think it's very intelligent and very smart especially how they're able to weave it and that was this one. It was very interesting how they weave together all the storylines. So I would highly recommend this show. Again it's only eight episodes and it's a limited series so I Yes, go watch the show. You will not be disappointed. It was so, so good. The next favorite on my list, y'all, is a show. It's not out yet. It was news. So we're saying that the news is the favorite thing in May because probably one of the best, best items of news I received in the month of May was, well, I'll just let the cast do it for you. So, behold. The exciting news I thought we should share. Um, what do you think, Virgin River team? Should we tell everybody? I think we should tell them. You don't have to wait much longer. Virgin River. Season three. July 9th. July 9th. Netflix. Netflix. 10 episodes. Because of your love for the show, Netflix are going to stream season three of Virgin River on July 9th. So yes, guys, Virgin River is coming out early. It was like... Oh my god, it was such a good gift. Like, the fact that I get to watch it in July, is, it literally is like Christmas in July for me. If you guys have not watched Virgin River yet, 
please, please go do it. A Virgin River, again, for me, was one of those shows I sort of put on in the background, not even anticipating liking it, and then all of a sudden my attention was totally hinged, and I love it. I have convinced all of my friends to watch it. I'm convincing all of you to watch it, and I swear to God, nobody's been disappointed with the show. My fiance watches the show with me. Now, I will say, at first I thought it could be sort of like Hallmarky. I was like, this is sort of like, this is gonna be like a Hallmark thing, isn't it? It's not. It's so different than that. Again, that's one of those shows that I think touches on so many different kinds of like themes. Like it's like crime, it's romance, it's drama. It's like all of those different things meshed together in one show. Season three is what's coming out in July. And this show usually releases like right around Thanksgiving weekend. So to have it in July was Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Like, I, I can't even believe it. I fully anticipated it, especially with COVID and all that being delayed. So the fact that it's not is just, it's amazing. And season two, it ended on such a cliffhanger that I am just so thrilled. I don't have to wait like an entire year to get to the next season. So I'm very, 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 very pumped. Virgin River is literally probably like one of my all-time favorite shows that Netflix has ever produced. Probably one of my all-time favorite shows ever, especially like in a fictional sense. I'm usually like a true crime documentary kind of gal. Like that's really what I gravitate towards. So like a show has to kind of combine like all those good things for me to watch it and Virgin River was one of those shows. So is Ellen Asante. So definitely would recommend both. But again, Virgin River is just the fact that this, the cast announced it via Instagram, the news that the new season was coming out. And if you like Virgin River, let me know in the comments down below. I want to have a conversation with you because I'm always looking to talk about Virgin River with people. Actually, but no spoilers. We can't give away spoilers. Just let me know if you love it. Let me know if you dislike it and tell me why. So yeah, put that in the comments down below. I'm really interested. Okay, the next favorite that made it in May, guys, is, well, I'm gonna show you a specific bag. I don't think I've ever done bags in my favorites. And it's not necessarily a specific bag, although I love this bag and I've already presented it to you. It's the, well, it's the belt bag. Okay, this is my Urban Southern belt bag. It's my half moon belt bag. It's stamped Urban Southern here. It's got this wonderful little post closure like so. I actually did a whole video on this bag. So if you're watching this video for the first time and you did not see that, I will link it in the description box down below for you. I said that I was given the chance. Urban Southern actually sent this to me and allowed me to use it, keep it. So I was very grateful for that. And I was so excited but really anxious to try a belt bag because I am a 90s child and I immediately gravitate towards that idea of a fanny pack like you know those old like kind of nerdy looking fanny packs um so that's kind of like my gravitational thinking like I immediately go towards like the vintage 90s fanny pack. I don't know why I could not like get over that idea and I just didn't think I would really like the function of a belt bag. And when they sent it to me, I was, I was, I was anxious and excited. Y'all, this is the best kind of bag I've ever carried in my life. It is so functional. I like still have all my stuff in here. I like go in and out of bags. I try and use like a different one every day. When I'm testing them out, especially for brands like Urban Southern, I will carry them for a week, week and a half just to really kind of get my bearings around them. I have had such a difficult time switching out of this bag because I think it is so functional. I love when I go out to places and like I just stick it on my chest like so and it just stays there. I don't notice it's there. It's I'm hands free. It's out of my way. And I don't know what I find it even more convenient than a crossbody. Like I love crossbodies, don't get me wrong, and I will never not have a crossbody bag in my collection, but there is something even more convenient about a belt bag. And a question that I got about belt bags is in the comments, I think I'm gonna make a whole nother video on them, but I think I'm just gonna address something right here, is that somebody talked about like, how does it fit like on your chest? They had mentioned that they're kind of bigger chested. I am too. I can't believe I'm going to announce this to the public. I'm a 36 double D, so I'm a much bigger chested girl for sure. And I did not have any kind of problem resting it on my chest. I found it quite comfortable. I think because this strap adjusts so much, like you definitely, I had plenty of room and it just did not bother me. I did not find that my 
boobs got in the way. Um, it was just, it was really, really convenient for me and I just, I did not have that problem. I did not have any back issues because this was weight on my chest, but how it rested on me, I thought it was super convenient and I just really love the function of belt bags and I may or may not have already bought another belt bag that's to come. I am here for this style. I really love it. I hope it stays on trend for a while because even if it doesn't, I'll still wear them because I just think they're so convenient and I totally now understand the 90s fanny pack and I cannot believe at one point I thought they were dorky or geeky or silly because they totally make sense to me now. And uh, yeah, I love them. So I just thought I would include that in my May favorites because truly like I, it, it just was a Oh, an awakening for me, if you will, with belt bags. So I wanted to show this bag to you again. If you want more information in it, it's in the description box down below. Check out that whole series. There's a giveaway going on with it. But belt bags for sure made my favorites for the month of May and have made my favorites in general simply because I think they're such phenomenal bags. The next item, guys, I don't have anything to show you because I've already eaten them, which was the sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage. I actually included this on one of my vlogs, which I will link in the description box down below if you want to go check that out. And that was actually a really fun one. My girlfriend and I went to Trader Joe's and I actually do not have a Trader Joe's near me. I am over an hour from the nearest Trader Joe's, so that's a very depressing thing. We do have Aldi, and Aldi's pretty great, so I will say that. I'm very blessed with Aldi. I love Aldi, but Trader Joe's just does have things that Aldi does not, and this sweet potato gnocchi with sage and butter was one of them. This, guys, they were so good. I'm a big gnocchi fan, and I find that the Trader Joe's frozen ones, they're very, like, pillowy, they're soft, they're tender. Like, I just, I don't know, they're phenomenal. And I loved them. I loved the sage and the butter combo. I felt like it wasn't super rich, but it was just flavorful enough. I think the whole bag cost me, like, $3, and we got, like, two meals out of it. So, for me, like, when I get to spend 2 or $3 on something frozen, it was super easy to make. That was another thing. I really love when it's, like, ease of use. It was so easy to just put in my pan. I think I sauteed it with some butter, and, like, that was it. That was, it was it. It was, like, a five-minute prep. I am here for quick. I am here for easy. I am here for cheap. So it met all of my three requirements when it comes to food on the go. I, you know, work a nine to five. I'm doing this YouTube, which I love, but it does. It consumes together. They consume a lot of my time. And so I, I really do gravitate towards things that I can try and make that are really good, just simple and easy. So that was definitely one of my favorites for the month of May. I need to make a trip to Trader Joe's just to stock up. I'll probably get like five or six bags going forward. So if you have a Trader Joe's around you, I am very envious. I wish that were me, but definitely go try that if you have not. Okay guys, my last favorite for the month of May. I'm very excited to show this to you guys because I feel like I've given it to you in like in passing. I haven't really got to talk about it. So I'm really, really just so pumped to talk about it. Okay, so I want to show you my new wallet. So let me see if I can get like a close up. Okay, so you have this like emblem here, but check out the stitching guys. It's multicolored. And then like this is like a full grain leather and we have the inside too. So I want to talk about this brand a little bit because I was introduced to it at a local craft fair. This brand is called Life on Mars Goods. I will link her website and her Instagram in the description box down below. I was able to meet her. I thought she was phenomenal. She's so cute. She's so friendly. And her products were beautiful. So she makes all full grain leather with leather that is imported from Sweden and she makes it right here in the USA and she's actually based out of Chicago so for me that that's really cool too because I love 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 hitting uh, handmade places all around the United States but to have it so close to home was really kind of a neat thing for me so she has a shop in Chicago and she actually always will put on her stories sometimes where she's like making the bags I am working with her right now on <laughs> on a belt bag, what else? But I definitely am going to be ordering that from her as well. I think her products are phenomenal. She's got this one avocado fringe bag. Y'all, I want it so bad, I really do. Like, But it's kind of big. I am more of like, right now I'm in small bags, so this one I think 
when I get back into my big bag phase will absolutely, it's on my list, I have to have it. But her products are, like, look at this, y'all. I mean, you have this beautiful, like, honey, like, full grain leather, and then you just have this punch of multicolor. And if you don't want the multicolor and you want regular stitching, she's got that too. So I feel like she just kind of caters towards the people who are looking for really minimal designs, but also people who are looking for minimal, but, like, just that extra punch of fun which I thought was so neat with the multicolored stitching and again she's just she's so friendly she's so nice and her products are beautiful and seriously there's like so many different ones to choose from I love the bookmarks that she has too they're like leather bookmarks that go on the corners of the pages they're so cute I really highly encourage you checking her site out this retailed for $40 and again it's just stunning it's full grain I actually quite like her emblem too. I think it's really neat and she's just, she's so cute. So definitely go check it out. Support small business and see, let me know if you buy a piece. I'm very curious, but I have wanted to show you guys this wallet and showcase it uh, for a little while. So I'm very happy that I was able to do that here. And I just, I do, I really love her stuff and I, I really want a belt bag and I really want the avocado fringe bag. So that's to come for sure. You know, I might ask for the avocado French bag for Christmas. That might be a thing. You know, because like Christmas is coming in July with Virgin River. Might as well start my Christmas list in July, right? <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. I have a very fun giveaway video coming up on Thursday. It is a in-depth get to know me. We have surpassed 800 subscribers. I literally, I am in shock. I'm in awe. I'm so grateful. So thank you all for supporting this channel for being a part of my life and letting me be a part of yours. I have really enjoyed getting to know some of you. I have really great conversations with you guys on Instagram, so shameless plug, go check out my Instagram. I have really, really enjoyed seriously getting to know some of you. So I uh, very much appreciate you being here and it just, it, I don't know, it's just, it makes my life so much better. I love this YouTube channel. I am so grateful for my subscribers. I'm so grateful, seriously, to be able to have this opportunity because I know not everybody does. So for me to be here and for me to like, you know, showcase some things that I just love so much just means the world to me. So thank you. Thank you for giving me your time. I really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I don't know my voice is being weird. Uh, again, enjoy your week. I cannot wait to catch you in Thursday's video. I will see you then. Bye guys.